with super wide grip pull-ups carry over to all variations. Of course, and for one simple reason, it's arguably the hardest grip width available. Just because you lift less weight doesn't mean your back isn't being maximally strengthened. In fact, it's comparable to lifting heavier with a medium grip. You only lift less due to worsened leverages, but the stimulus remains high. It's like asking if good mornings have good carryover to RDLs. Well, even if you're hitting 100 pounds less, the number doesn't matter. And it's not necessarily about muscle biasing either before someone says, Ah, it's because the wide grip is correcting your lower lat weakness and top end strength given the shoulder adduction and specific range of motion. No, it's just that your arms are positioned like a medieval prisoner being pulled apart by horses. It's so hard that most guys who can do 20 regular pull-ups would struggle with 10 super wides. So what do you think happens when that same guy doubles his strength? Do you think his initial easier pull-up will improve or not? It's obvious. The difficulty is so off the charts, including with weighted, that a bigger back with less workout fatigue is the only outcome. And that's precisely what happened to me last year. I did super wides as my main variation for the entire bulk and cut, and netted a new ring chin up one rep max, and eight one arm pull ups, which was a plus two rep PR. That's crazy at this level, both of which I didn't train heavy for, nor was I specific for. It was all submaximal training. And for my super wides, being between 60 to 80 pounds was like doing three plates on my normal grip. And in general, just one plate with good technique is almost always enough to get a high stimulus here. Heck, even 25 is hard if you truly slow down and pause. So the absolute strength standard for super wide grip pull-ups may not be high, but the carryover to all other grips sure is. And that's the main reason why I favor it these days. The stimulus to fatigue ratio is unmatched. Even though it builds lower lats, it's really the difficulty and general carryover that I get off to. Plus, I rotate all the grips anyway. And with super wide, there's also the neutral version. So there's still variation within to reduce overuse.